When I was growing up, I loved the old slapstick comedies. People like Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton and Laurel and Hardy really made me laugh. But it never occurred to me that the people fooling about on my television could be sad or lonely or depressed. I just always assumed that they must have been happy all of the time, like they seemed to be in their movies. But as I started to grow up I began to realise that some of my favourite comedians and heroes were as lonely and sad and scared as I sometimes was. But I was to discover that some of their favourite comedians and heroes were even sadder and even more scared than they had been. Although I didn't know it at the time, I was in pretty good company, even when I was at my saddest. And luckily for me, I had a friend who felt the same way. So we set out with some helpers to make a film about depression and suicide and silent cinema. It was sort of a bumpy ride. Looking for Charlie is a film about our search to discover the roots of a century of laughter and why the comedians who inspired the likes of Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton felt like they had no other choice but to take their own lives. It's a film about why people tell jokes, why people laugh, and why all of that stuff is so important. But more than that, it's a film about history and cinema and love and friendship and heartbreak and suicide. In other words, it's a film about life. And it's a film about death, but mostly life, I think.